The Rams are 5-0 straight up and take that perfect record a mile high to face the Broncos. LA is missing some bodies in the receiving core and has failed to cover the spread in back-to-back -back games. Books are handing the host Broncos a ton of points with Denver opening plus 6.5 and, and jumping to plus 7. Have you guys soured on the Rams at all? I still like the Rams as a team. I think those injuries to their wide receivers are a big concern. Uh, Brandon Cooks especially took a really big hit and has a little bit of a concussion history. Um, so if he's not able to go, I think we see a lot more Todd Gurley. And I think that makes sense against Denver. They have not been great stopping the run. Uh, same for the Rams as well. I actually have Denver as the best rushing offense by EPA and yards per play. And the Rams are having, averaging five yards a carry against. We saw what Seattle did to the Rams. I think the game plan is pretty clear for Denver. Run the ball a lot, try to try to slow down that offense. And if we see a lot of Gurley as well, I think this total is a little too high. Yeah, uh, I haven't been high on the Rams all year. I'm still waiting for them to really impress me. And especially since their defense has slid off the last yeah. three games. And they're really feeling the loss of, of Akib Tlaib. And then Peters, I don't know if he's 100% yet. Yeah, so they've allowed uh, an average of 392 yards against the last three games. They've allowed opponents to convert on third down 54% of the time, which is not <laughs> going not to win you football it, games. Yeah. <laughs> and opposing QBs have had a QB rating of almost 119 against them over those last three games. I don't think Case Keenum is going to come out and put up yeah. a big game like that. As you said, they're going to lean on the run there. But it does kind of get me worried about them. And then Denver, they played Casey tough at home. Yeah. They stepped up. They challenged Kansas City. This is the second straight road game for LA in the middle of three straight road games for them. And you got to go up the mountain where the air is thin and uh, you could be sucking wind by the fourth quarter. So I, I could see, I could see the value in, in the Broncos at home here getting all the points. Okay. Well, the over/under for this game is set at 52 and a half points.